at 10, it was the crown jewel of Armstrong Park. The municipal auditorium has been shuttered since Hurricane Katrina. People who live near the area call it one of the biggest pieces of blight in the city. Now they say it's been broken into and it's attracting squatters. WDSU reporter Gina Swanson talked to neighbors about their concerns and tells us more on what the city plans to do to fix this building, Gina. Camille, folks who live near the park say it's not secure. And almost nine years after the storm, they want to see some progress there. But the city says progress is on the way. The Sculpture Garden at Armstrong Park is home to notable city figures. Now neighbors believe the park may be housing more than these statues. Right before the weekend, we was coming to the park. We just seen somebody had broke the window. The municipal auditorium has been broken into and is being used by homeless people in the neighborhood as a shelter now. Mm -hmm. And it's got us concerned. Leo Watermeyer took these pictures Sunday. He lives just across the street from the park. No telling what else is going on in there, what damage they're doing. He's watched for years as the municipal auditorium has sat vacant and in need of repair. We just think it's a shame that nine years after Katrina, the city has not been able to repair this building and get it back into, into operation. Mm -hmm. This building is really the crown jewel of the park and one of the crown jewels of the city. And, and that nine years after Katrina, it's, it's sitting like this still decaying. The city says it's been working to get funding from FEMA to restore the building. City leaders have negotiated from $7 million up to $20 million for the auditorium, and remediation work is underway. Folks who frequent the park tell us this glass was just shattered in the last couple days. They believe whoever's responsible may have been trying to get to what's been stored inside. I know for a fact that it's got uh, like stuff from Katrina and our water supplies and all that type of stuff, but we don't really know what's going on inside. At one point, the auditorium was a distribution center for MREs after the storm. Now there are wrappers and other debris littering the outside. Watermeyer says he has had enough of this blighted property in his neighborhood. Well, it's very frustrating. And, you know, abandoned buildings are crime magnets. Now, the city says they've boarded up the building and NOPD monitors the site on a daily basis. But we should tell you, as of last check this afternoon, the glass door was still broken and the building was still accessible if anyone wanted to get inside. Camille. All right, Gina. And the city says asbestos abatement work on the auditorium is set to start in September. Once that's all done, the contents will be removed from the building. The city says construction work on the auditorium is expected to continue until October of next year.